they're good looking. Stick around for this fun and sweaty low back friendly cardio workout. No equipment is required. And in addition to getting the heart rates up, I've also programmed some exercises at the beginning of our workout that will help strengthen some areas that can be weak and cause low back pain like the hips, the glutes, and the core. So lace up those runners and let's go get ourselves warmed up. Hello there, hey, welcome. If you're new to the channel, I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. So if that's you, if you're thinking, hey, that sounds pretty cool, click to subscribe and let's keep working together. All right, let's get ourselves warmed up. As we warm up, I'll chat about the workout. So we're starting with the low back um, mobility drill. So let's get on all fours. Knees are apart and under the hips. Wrists are under the shoulders. Cat and cow, I want you to inhale, allow the low back to sag, and then exhale and push the ground away and tuck the tailbone under. Now just take it at an easy range of motion. We're not trying to really push through end range on this. As mentioned, this is a spinal mobility drill and it's gonna also help us warm up the spine. Nice way to wake up in the morning too, doing a few of these, but being aware too that you're not pushing through over arching or over extending. So you're just keeping it sort of about 75% range of motion, I guess would be a good way to describe it. Last four. And flow with your breath. Three. Two. One more. And find neutral spine. With this neutral spine, pull the belly button in towards the spine. So you're activating your deep core muscle called your transverse. Extend your right leg only so it's level with the ground and now the opposite hand. Find the balance. Bring the knee in, tap the knee with the hand and extend back out. We have eight. Training the muscles up the spine called multifidi. Also warming up into the glutes and shoulders and hitting the core muscles. Just allow the leg to go parallel with your floor. We don't want to overarch the low back. So maintain that neutral spine that's actually part of the exercise and part of the beauty of this exercise. One more. And release. All right, extend your left leg. So take a peek. I'm not overarching and lifting that leg up really high while I'll get out of spine alignment. I'm keeping everything tight. And now extend the opposite arm. Find that balance. Pull that belly button in towards the spine. And now bring everything in. Tap the top of the thigh. Extend back out. Breathe. It's a good balance exercise as well. So focus your stare on something stationary just in front of you. Maybe it's like me, the thousand pounds of dog hair all over the floor, or maybe you've got cat hair, or maybe you've got kids. <laughs> I'm sure there's some sort of dirt you can focus on on your floor. Oh, last two. <laughs> One more. And release. Come into a standing position. You may want to hold on to something for this drill, but I want you to slowly progress to doing it what I call freestyle. We're working into the glute med now, which is an extremely important muscle in the outer hip that's responsible for a number of things like hip abduction, adduction, as well as support for the low back and knee tracking. So with a slight hip hinge, not much, bend the left knee. So here's where your start, start position is. <laughs> find my balance myself. All right, now we want to internally rotate when the knee's close to the other knee and then externally rotate when we lift away. So like a fire hydrant. So now internally rotate. And when I mean internally, we're doing it from the hip bone and then externally, good. So hold on to something if you're all over the place for balance and you're just trying to get the exercise. And as I said, that we want to progress to being without any support, freestyle. And then if you can, you can straighten the leg, make it harder, right? The longer your lever, the harder it is. So it's internal rotation to external. 
Last two, you'll feel the other leg fire up too. One more, and other leg. So once again, we're training those hip muscles, okay, which are very important when it comes to low back health. So slight hip hinge, not much, bend the knee. So we start with internal rotation, and then externally rotate on the way out, and internal. Good. So it's like a fire hydrant move, but we're just adding that extra internal rotation, external. Straighten the leg a bit more if you want to. When I say straighten the leg, I mean the working leg. We always want softness in the stabilizing leg. Last three, two, and one. Excellent, march it out on the spot. Some big hip circles and then we will begin the cardio workout. Really exaggerate your range of motion. One more. Other side. And march it out. All right, grab a sip of water if you need a sip because we are going to start the cardio portion, girlfriend. So here's the scoop. We have a series of moves, three rounds, 30 seconds are on the clock. At any time you can tap out and march on the spot and grab some water, but I want you to try to push yourself. Yes, I know this is a low back friendly workout, but we can still push the heart rate. <laughs> so please make sure that you keep yourself moving regardless. All right, we're starting with a repeater knee. So we're all on the same page. Let's start with the left leg back. So left knee's gonna come up, okay? You ready, set, and go. So add the arms and tap the toe behind. Slight lean into it. Leg on the ground is bent. Good, and then you can pick it up, and go as fast as you want here. But as mentioned in this intro, in the intro of this video, this is all low impact. So you should be walking away after this workout feeling damn good, and the back should be feeling a little better. Now when the timer goes, we're gonna take the same left leg right here, and we're gonna add a knee up, and then just step out to a side lunge, okay? So if you can, keep that leg up off the ground to challenge the balance. If not, toe on the ground. Push your bum back, good. So you can go here, or if you're feeling it, step out. Great job, chest lifted, keep yourself squared to me. When the timer goes, right knee repeater. Time, all right, so we've got the right knee. Right leg is back, left one is bent, add the arms, that's gonna help increase the heart rate. Ready, set, go. And it's the knee coming to the chest, not the chest coming down to the knee. You got it, so tall on the spine, and smiles on. You're moving, you're grooving. Don't take that for granted. We should love that we're moving our body, not think of this as a job or as work. There's some people that can't move, and they would like to. So we're not taking it for granted, and we're here. We showed up, time, and we're gonna do it. All right, so knee up if you feel you can. Otherwise, you kick stand down. We step out, side lunge, that right leg, go. Bend the knees, keep yourself squared to me. So shoulders, hips, knees, everything's squared. This knee will track out a bit. Add those arms, as I mentioned for the repeater knee, when we add the arms as well as the legs, that's gonna demand more work for the heart. Time, march it out, okay. Take your left leg behind you. So we're not mirroring each other, okay? We have two pulses, so now we're getting a nice hip stretch here. So I want two pulses, one, two, then bring the legs together and now lead with the heel and bring it out to work the glute med. Pulse, leg abduction, good. Pulse, and how deep you go with any of these lunges is totally up to you. You can take it shallow if the knees aren't feeling the love today. Keep your body upright on that Lunge pattern, shoulder and hip align, time. 
And as mentioned, we're going to get a good stretch in the psoas group when we do that, which, when that muscle's tight, can cause low back pain. So let's step back with the other leg. Two pulses. Feet together, lead with the heel, abduct out. Good. Two pulses. Whew, I did a leg workout yesterday. <laughs> My legs are so sore right now. <laughs> yes, I crippled myself. Bravo, PJ. <laughs> Low impact jumping jack, time coming up. So our jumping jack, we'll add the arms too, because as I mentioned earlier, it's a great way to combine and get the heart rates up. We start with the hands here, the knees bent, and then we reach and tap, reach and tap, good. Now be strong with this, so you can either be like this, or you can mean it and reach it, and be strong with the movement. So one more move of the series, and then we take it from the top again. Time, all right. Feet shoulder width apart. Take your elbows in. We have two jabs, two hooks, and a squat. Don't worry, I'll do it with you. You ready? So give me a jab, jab. Now a hook, it's like you're coming over and around to get someone in the side of the chin and then drop down for a squat. Go, jab, jab, hook, hook, down. Hands stay up, because we want, look, we want to protect the chin and then elbows are in to protect the rib cage. Jab, jab, hook, hook, Drop, one, two, three, four, squat. One, two, three, four, squat, you got it. One, two, three, four, time. Okay, repeat our knee. So we're taking it back to the top. Left leg behind us, we pump those arms, we put those smiles on, go. Step outside, lunge, coming up. Woo, you feel that leg there that we're st standing on? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Hello. Die, march it out. All right, give yourself some space. Again, you take that squat, as, or sorry, the side lunge you're about to do as deep as it feels good for the knees. Step out. Good, and you can kickstand or knee up, up to you. Time, march it out. Okay, so now we've got the right knee. We're doing all this now with the right leg. So bend that left one. Tap the right one behind you. Repeat her knee, go. Chest up, head up. Hello, left leg. <laughs> Time. Whew. Boy, that can get you, right? All right, so now that right leg steps out for the side lunge. Square yourself to me, step out, push the hips back. Good, you can either toe tap it, or if you're able to and it feels okay on the glute, give me a full knee up. Lunge pulse with side leg lift coming up. Time, whoo. All right, so feet start shoulder width apart or hip width. Step back, that's gonna give you a good base of support. And again, you take this lunge as deep as you want. Give me two pulses, and then come on up, lead with the heel, and side leg lift. 
Once you've got the form on that, then by all means, pick up the tempo a bit. But again, the method to the madness of this exercise is we get a length in the psoas group, your hip flexor, which can be tight and increase that low back pain. And then we've got a side leg lift, focusing on that glute med muscle, which can be weak time and cause low back pain. <laughs> so there's method to the madness here. Here we go, we step back with the other leg. Now, give me two pulses. One, two, side leg lift. Oh yeah, man, my legs are done from my workout yesterday. If you're wondering what I did, you know, I don't do anything outrageous when I do my own workouts. Do lunges, squats, step outs, hamstring curls, one-legged squats to work any imbalances I have. Time, march it out. But I do multiple sets, that's the key. All right, low impact squat or low impact jumping jack and reach. Ready, go. Be strong with the arm, reach it across. Time, all right, two jabs, two hooks, and a squat. And remember, we keep the elbows in and the hands up. So, feet shoulder width apart, softness in the knees, jab, jab, hook, hook, drop it. One, two, drop it, good. Abs engaged. Here I am smiling away while I punch. I don't think that would happen in a real life situation, would it? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it would. I've never actually punched anyone, other than my husband. <laughs> Time, march it out. All right, one more round. <laughs> Repeat her knee. We've got the left knee coming up. Add those arms, go. You know, just a little. A little punch to the shoulder, let them know I'm here. <laughs> A jab to the solar plexus when he makes rude comments about my cooking. <laughs> you know, those kind of love taps. <laughs> Actually, it's time, not far off. I'm not a very good cook. <laughs> Step outside, lunge, but I keep doing it. <laughs> Here we go, knee up if you're able to, otherwise kickstand and down. My problem is, is I forget that there's shit in the oven and I go upstairs onto my computer and start working. Yeah, and if I don't have the timer on, yeah, you know where this story story's going. <laughs> Time, Woo. All right, so other knee repeater, right knee up. Yeah, once I get behind the computer, oh, my mind, I just get lost in, in my job. Go. I don't know how many loaves of garlic bread I've burned <laughs> in the 27 years that we've been married. <laughs> I'm sure he would know. He probably has a running count. <laughs> many loaves of garlic bread have risked their lives in order for Fitness with PJ to learn how to toast it. <laughs> Time. All right, step outside, lunge. Remember, kickstand or full knee up, go. I love garlic bread. Sorry, this is just a random stream of consciousness now coming out of my mouth. <laughs> All right, let's talk exercise. Remember, keep yourself square to me. Push the hips back. It's a really great glute move. And then with the knee up, if we can find that balance, we get the core involved as well. Lunge pulse with side leg lift coming up. 
time. All right, we march it out. So let's remember, feet hip width apart, or minimum hip width, or shoulder width, then step back. And that's gonna give you a good base of support for your lunge. Now two pulses, come up, side leg lift. One, two, I can make really good oatmeal though. <laughs> no, it's hard to do. Oatmeal is a really boring food. <laughs> but I make really good overnight oats, baked oatmeal, slow cooker pumpkin oats. Yeah, baby. If you want oatmeal, you come to my house. If you want garlic bread, go to somebody else's. <laughs> All right, lunge pulse, ready, other leg, go. Two pulses. <laughs> Low impact, jumping jack, and reach coming up. All right, so we have the hands up, right? Keep the feet hip width, we tap, we reach, ready, strong with the arms, be strong, go. Actually, strangely enough, I also make a mean baked tofu. I know, it sounds so disgusting, but actually it's quite good. <laughs> I cut it up, you crisp it up, just like croutons, and put it in your salad. Great vegetarian choice, protein choice for your lunchtime salad. You're welcome. Time. Loving husband would never eat that though. <laughs> I don't even think he can handle tofu. No, he would probably puke. Here we go. Ready? Two jobs, two hooks. One, two. Now give me a squat. Good. He's a bit of a baby when it comes to shit like that. Breathe with it, breathe, breathe. Good, and march it out, all right. So don't leave me yet, I wanna do a little bit of low back specific work, pardon me, and then we'll do some stretches, and then I'll let you leave me. <laughs> so grab a sip of water, march it out, let those heart rates come down, and then meet me down on the mat. Okay, on the mat, heels close to the bum, feet hip width apart, Pressing your heels into the ground, lift your hips up into bridge pose, and then slowly lower. And again, good. So we have 30 seconds here. This is also a great exercise sub for lunges. So in future workouts, if the instructor, or if you're doing mine and I haven't cued you otherwise, and we're doing lunges, the knees just aren't feeling it, hey, head down, do some bridges. Time, lie on your side for me, please. Knees are bent, feet are gonna stay close together, they're gonna touch, all right? My knees are being brought in towards the center of my body. Lift the top knee up, keeping the feet together, and lower. Keep the top hip pointed down. So training that outer hip, that glute med muscle I was referring to at the beginning of our workout. They call these clamshells. Or maybe it's just clams. <laughs> maybe I added the shells ram randomly. When the timer goes, we go back to the bridges before, right here, time, before we do the other side, okay? So let's do another round of the bridges. So feet hip width, close to the tush, dig through the heels and drive up and down. Now we want that movement initiated through the glutes. So place your focus into that butt region, squeezing the tush as you lift up. And then when the timer goes, we'll roll to the other side for clams on that side.
time. Okay, I'm switching around. You don't have to. I just don't want my back to you. Knees are bent. Again, pull them in. Let your head just drop on that bottom arm and keep the hips stacked. Keep the feet together and lift that top leg up. You feel that in the hips? Yeah, time. All right, let's give that a stretch then. So whatever leg you just worked, cross that ankle over the thigh. Now this may be enough of a stretch for you. You might be just fine right here. At that point, you'll just hold it. Otherwise, you can pick the foot up off the ground, interlace the hands behind the thigh, slide the chin in. We want that back of your neck long. And then arrange it so that you're pulling that knee in towards the outside of the shoulder. We're stretching into the glutes and in particular your hip rotator, your piriformis muscle. And when she is irritated, she can mimic sciatica. So we want to keep this muscle flexible. We don't want it angry with us. Now to help you out too, if you are suffering with low back pain, I am going to put a whole list of workouts down below. Most of my workouts are low back friendly because I do give a ton of modifications, but there are ones that I made specific for those that are suffering with low back pain or sciatica. And I'll put a bunch of links down below and I urge you to go in there, favorite the videos, and that way you can pull them up when you need them again. Now before we do the other side piriformis, let's get into the hamstrings. So foot on the ground, extend this leg straight up now. If you're able to, hands behind the thigh. If you're suffering with low back pain right now or sciatica, the worst thing, and bravo to you, you haven't done it because you're here, but the worst thing you would do is inactivity. That's actually going to increase your back pain. So gentle movement, low impact cardio like we did, gentle stretching without a lot of emphasis on extending or twisting are great choices. And walking, <laughs> walking's the best. Sitting is the worst. In fact, I'm gonna link up a video. So you have to wait till the very end. It'll play on the last 50. It'll give you an opportunity to click on it to play in the last 15 seconds of this video. And in the video, I go through, I think it's nine different exercises that I've read flagged that are on a lot of YouTube workouts, mine included, that you shouldn't be doing when your low back pain is flared up and what you should do instead. In addition to one spinal hygiene habit, everybody should be doing. So as I said, stay to the very end of this video and I'll link it up. So all you have to do is click on it and it's a fit tip. It's not a workout. So you could have your coffee and uh, have a watch. All right, let's do the other side. Ankle crosses over the thigh. And if you want more, pull in. Knee lines up at the outside of the shoulder. Back of the neck is long. As you feel that first pull subside in your stretch, I want you to see if you can pull the knee in a little closer, get a little deeper into the stretch. Foot on the ground, extend the leg straight up, get that stretch in the hamstring. Really press the heel up towards your ceiling like you're trying to Get some space in the hip socket. See if you can allow all the other muscles in the body to relax while you hold this. 
or maybe you're a smart cookie and grabbed yourself a tie of some sort, be it a yoga tie, an old bathrobe tie, a necktie, and use that to help hold the leg up. It's another great trick for a hamstring stretch. Now bring both legs up, hands on the inside of the knee, open the legs up, stretching the long head of the ductors. Don't allow that low back to puff off your ground. There might be a slight bend in the knees, that's fine. You should feel a nice stretch though in the inner thighs. And then as you hold it, let gravity to help you get a little deeper in the stretch. You'll feel the legs release and maybe drop closer to the ground. I'm gently pushing on the inside of my knees with my hands to get a little bit more of a stretch. And use my hands to bring the knees together. Rock myself up to a seated position. On the knees, we're stretching into the psoas group, which I alluded to earlier, when she's tight can cause low back discomfort. Knee under hip. Tuck the tailbone under and squeeze that glute. Now inhale the arm straight up, trying to separate the bottom rib from hip as much as you can. Exhale and lean away. So thank you so much for showing up. Don't forget to check out the videos down below to help you out for further movement. In addition, if you haven't already, heck, subscribe to the channel. We have a good time here. If you enjoyed the workout, hey, I would love a thumbs up. I would love to hear from you as well. You can drop a comment below. I read all of my comments and we answer back. And if this is not your first visit at Fitness with PJ, we would love for your support on Patreon. It's due to the amazing people there that we're able to keep the workouts here on YouTube. So we would love your support as well. All the information's down there in the description. Other side. So once again, we want knee and hip aligned, and then you'll tuck the tailbone under, feel that stretch in the hip, straight up, separating rib to hip, and then lean away. Two more deep breaths into that hip. Release into a standing position, interlace the hands, place them behind the head, let the head drop back a bit. You're getting into a bit of an extension in the spine while we open up the front of the body. Nice deep breath. And release, you did it. Hey, I really appreciate you joining me today and I look forward to seeing you at the next workout. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Mwah.